Hey guys, this is a quick video. I want to do just kind of a year in review, kind of a long-term update on this vacuum I have. So this is the Hayward Shark Vac. It's a robotic pool cleaner. It has its own filtration system here. And I've had it for about a year now and just want to give some information on how it's worked for me, longevity, reliability, and so forth. And because I've had several people ask about it because I did a video on this when I first got it, my pool was actually, at the time, it was incomplete. This is a fiberglass pool, and there was no filtration, there was no chemicals, and the, the bottom was getting really dirty, so I just, uh, that was last year. So I did an initial video, so I want to just give some information on how it's held up over the year. All right, while the vacuum is going right now, I want to just give a, I wanted to share this piece of information. So if you see here, the power box is on the end of the pool. This pool is, you know, length to length is about 38 feet. So the cord can stretch that far, but if you can see it here in the middle, the cord is kind of twisted up a little bit. And it was just driving, it was just trying to go back to this corner here, but the cord wasn't unraveling, so it didn't make it. So it seems like this corner, this far corner here, doesn't get as clean as the rest of the pool just because that cord tangles up a little bit. Now that's because I leave it in there. Now I normally leave the, this in here until we go swimming, so it can stay in the pool for a couple days. And I'll just turn it on and off here and there and if you do that that seems like when it gets tangled as if it's gone through several cycles without it being unplugged and untangling the the cord but otherwise the cord is long enough to stretch across a probably a 45 foot pool does just fine with that and it maneuvers around the pool really well so all the other areas of the pool along the bottom it does well it doesn't go up on the sides very high maybe only about 18 inches up on the on the sides which the sides don't get dirty, so that's not that big of a deal. I still have to manually come out here and brush off my steps. I've got steps here, I've got steps on the sides, and then steps down there. So I still have to manually brush those. But as far as cleaning the bottom, it does a really good job. Okay, here at the control box, I just turned off the cleaner. I'm going to get it pulled out, but I want, to, I want to tell you, so this will only run two hours at a time. So every time you hit the on button, it'll run for two hours and then shut off and just sit there. So I guess that's kind of good in that you don't have it going constantly. Like if you forget to turn it off, it's not going for eight or 10 hours and, you know, using a lot of energy. So two hours is not bad. And it does, it actually cleans probably the whole, whole bottom of the pool, probably 90% of the pool in one cycle. So I'll pr I probably run it twice, uh, once or twice a day just to make sure my um, bottom is clean. With the being white, you know, every speck of dust shows up. So want to keep it as clean as possible. So let's get it pulled out, go through some of the um, things I want to show you. Okay, I got out of the pool here. Now when I pull it out of the, the pool, I don't let it drain over the pool because what will happen, I've learned this from experience, is all of the dirt, debris that it's captured is going to go back into the pool. So I have to pull it out of the pool with all the water in it and then let it drain like right here. So I probably lose a couple of gallons of water every time I take it out. So just know that you want to keep all the debris and dirt inside this. Just know that, that you're going to have to do that. Okay, one complaint, and this is something on the reviews that's come up quite a bit, and I've noticed it more and more as I've used this uh, over the year, is this button here to release the, so this lid comes up to get to the filters to clean them out. I haven't touched this yet since it's come out of the pool pushing it and trying to trying to get this lifted up. I mean, this takes anywhere from 3 to 20 tries to get this lid released. It's very annoying. So that's This is probably my biggest complaint with this thing is I don't know what this latching mechanism is, but it's uh So this it should Got it released and then it won't come up. I hit it a few times. All right, finally got it open. 
Okay, finally got that thing open. You'd need two hands and you gotta really push it. Just, it seems like every time is different. Anyways, that's my biggest complaint. Otherwise, the filters have held up pretty good. This is after probably six or seven cycles. So the dirt's here, so with this we just... Okay, so we open these top covers to, to expose these blue primary filters. And then we, we can pull out our, these filter out a lot more of the dirt. You can see there, they've held up pretty good. There's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a wearing on the filter right here where it's kind of peeling a little bit, but you know, they hold, hold quite a bit of dirt. So I'm happy with how they perform. Uh, so these have a year of use on them. But I'll wash these out, you know, every couple days, I'll just take these out real quick, rinse them out, make sure they're cleaned off. So I, I, I wash them pretty regularly just so we have a clean filter. Wash these out as well. Okay, so now we have this water. I wanted to just give you a quick update on durability wise. So if you see this wheel right here, uh, end of last year, I've only had the, only had it about three months and the hub that screws into the actual machine broke off completely. So basically the wheel, uh, the wheel was just sitting on the bottom of the pool and it was running around with only three wheels on. I don't know what caused it. I don't know what cracked this. Basically, this part here cracked, so the wheel just came right. It came right off. The screw is still in. Luckily, the nothing damaged the um, like the axle that goes into the wheel, but just the wheel had cracked. So luckily, I was able to find a replacement wheel on eBay, and I bought it and put it on. I think it was under twenty dollars. I don't remember the exact price, but I thought it was odd that the wheel had cracked like that. I don't know what caused it. I don't know. If, from lifting it out of the pool or dropping it into the pool. So it seems like the wheel was, you know, kind of pretty a pretty sensitive part that could break that easily uh, in the pool. Luckily, I haven't had any other problems with it. Other than that, it's held up. It's held up pretty good and done a, and done a good job. I, I do like the fact that it's um, has its own filtration system. So what I use that for is I will run my pump like if it's I, I use a rule of thumb that I run the my, my pull pump 10 hour or an hour for every 10 degrees so if it's 80 degrees outside I'll run it for you know eight hours and what I do with this because this has its own filtration system and will circulate the water so maybe I'll drop it down to seven hours instead of eight and I'll run this for two hours so this allows me to kind of take an hour off of my pump because the pump sucks a lot of power. This just this doesn't use that much power. And I'm able to use this to help circulate the water. And I usually do it at night, you know, after the pool's shut down for the day. So uh, it, I like the fact that it does that. This is my primary source of cleaning the pool. I have a suction type cleaner and I have a, a battery one. This is by far my favorite one. This is the most effective. Picks up dirt, debris, and then traps it really well in these filters. The only thing is I, I do leave it in the pool for a couple days at a time. You know, I'll, I'll throw it in there. I take it out when we swim, but if, you know, we sw we're swimming in the pool, I'll take it out, put it back in, you know, quickly clean out the filters. But I'll leave it in there a couple days at a time and run, you know, six or seven cycles through it over the course of two or three days if we haven't used the pool in three days. And that way it's, that way it's in the pool cleaning it up and um, and so forth, so... Pretty happy with how it's worked, other than the wheel falling off, wheel breaking actually. Uh, filters are holding up good. I'll probably replace those next year, just because you know they, they they're eventually going to wear out. But nothing else is uh, damaged or everything else is working good on it. So I think it's a pretty good buy. If you're looking for a robotic filtration pool cleaner, I think this is the this is this is a good option.
Okay, well, hopefully you found this helpful, informational, especially if you're looking at one of these cleaners. I, I would recommend it. It's, it's been valuable for me to have. I really like the fact it's done a good job. It's cleaned the pool well, so it really automates a lot of that pool cleaning. So I, don't, I, I haven't had to manually vacuum or clean my pool, so this does a good job. So anyways, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks.